Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Monday the 24th. It's 52 degrees and has been raining all night long. There's a little woman out there with her little on her own umbrella. <laughs> Mother Nature making up for uh, giving us that nicer than it was supposed to be uh, Sunday yesterday. All right, let's start off the work week in the rain. Yep. I'm pretty sure this is a payback for the super nice day yesterday. I think so. That's all right. You got to have these mixed in. Yep. You don't know what's good if, if it's you always... the bad. Yeah. Yep. As the old saying goes, I don't know about all that. <laughs> all right, Mama. Have a right, wonderful Papa. Monday. You too. I and love your bunches. I love you too. I'll see you in the passings. Oh, right. Sounds good. All right, there, little Mama. Oh, uh, see you, bye. Not yet. Bye-bye now. The spider with just over a hundred miles on it. Water pump's bad. You know, I tell you guys about letting these things sit. I know in the wintertime, that's one thing. But letting them sit for six years, that's bad. Ryan, I guess, has had to do the same thing with the super low mileage one that was several years old. Never... You know, it's not really a service. I guess we'd take it apart. But the thermostat and everything's built into it. This is the new one. And um, it, it's either the thermostat is stuck. I mean, the pump is turning. It turns internally. I mean, it's a physical thing. So the, I don't know, it's just sitting over time. I think the thermostat is, is stuck closed. But this thing just would not flow. And that's what it runs like if you ever had a thermostat stick on a car or other motorcycles or whatever. But yeah, brand new unit. We took it in and, and sold. We got it in on trade or auction. I don't know how we ended up with it. I think it's so weird here the last couple of years. That's where your water pump sits. It's right in that, that there hole right yonder. And the cam, it's spun off towards the, the front side there. Very simple, it's easy to get to, kind of time consuming, you gotta take a lot of stuff off. It's kind of a pain to, to drain, cause you, there's no drain, you just knock the, the lower hose off of the right radiator. But yeah, don't let these things sit whenever you get a chance. Take it out for at least a 10 mile ride whenever possible. Do not fire them up and let them run your garage. You guys know the drill. If you've been watching for a while. Look at that where BRP went through and just tagged everything. That's a uh, quality control. People check us. Look, even the uh, transmission control module, which is literally the same size as, as the ECM on the other side. It's just green to denote that is not the engine module. That's the what controls all the hydraulics and whatnot inside the clutch cover hydraulic control module that is the brain for all of it it's the whole thing is kind of considered a hydraulic control module but cool and so i've been messing around here for a bit let me get the new one on and, and move on crazy nice to work on a brand new six-year-old motorcycle though or can-am spider all right i'm back to it what are you guys doing what have you been doing since I talked to you last? <laughs> You've been sloughing off. Then I got the police bike that's got spongy brakes. And uh, he uh, went through a training course here recently and he thinks he smoked his clutch. So we need to pull the clutch out. And take a, usually when they say it's slipping, it's done. Especially they do those training things. They're, they're rough on them. Tough bikes. I remember the Kawasaki's wouldn't make it through not even one training course. Whenever they did that, they came back and got a new clutch. A lot of clutches in K1000Ps. A lot of clutches. That was kind of a normal thing. <laughs> All right, let me get back to her. Mama, we're gonna have to send her back. Yeah. One, 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 one. Yeah, we need to do that. Next thing you know, that's gonna have, yeah, it's gonna be six digits on there. 
flash flip of a coin. I know I'll go on and on about this, but you guys seen all the rain we were going through, downpouring. No spots. As soon as the rain stops, the water just starts beating away and you end up with a clean car. The wheels, however, start to get a little scum on them. That might just be the color too, but you can definitely see it in the tires. They get that gray look to them. That's crazy though. I just can't get over how well that stuff works. Look what I'm paying for premium. Holy Toledo. And speaking of Toledo, this is about the cheapest around. That uh, where we're putting it in the spider was uh, 389 and everything just jumped about another five cents. I think this jumped up six cents since the first time we put fuel in it. I can put regular in it, but you know, they want premium. Minimum is 87 octane. I'm not running that crap in there. If it wants, it, it wants 91, well, this is 92, so keep her happy. She'll live a long time. All right, she's done. Holy moly. Their flowers are getting prettier, mama. Surprised you haven't been down here sifting through them. Oh, I definitely want to. Oh, he's loving on his lab back there. Good boy. Seems like it's been a bit since I've been out here goofing around out in the garage. Still haven't cleaned that big mess up. I'm just going to grab one of those tubs and throw it all in there until I sort out what to do with them. Should probably throw one of the umbrellas and the big microfibers or something like that in the... I guess some of that stuff's useful. It's amazing, the junk you gather up. Holy moly. I think I've got three or four sets of tie downs. I got big nets for, uh, there was one net that I forgot I even had. I don't know where it's at. Oh, it's this one right here. This thing actually works pretty good. It's just one of those fish net things that work great in the ridge line. <laughs> Stacks of registrations and God knows what in the mail stuff. There's one of those jump starter kits. That thing's probably long since gone. Just garbage you collect. It's amazing. Even in your car, just things that you just kind of shove aside and don't mess with. You sure were fun the other day, old GT. That is such a fun motorcycle. So Kelly and I have been kind of chit-chatting back and forth. We we're talking a lot, a lot about, you know, rides to do this uh, winter. I mean, summer, when the weather gets nice. Talking about maybe doing some little camping stuff here and there. and Just little quick things because we got to arrange things if we're gone for too long with the, with the dogs. That's going to happen later in August. I don't know... Looks like the turnaround thing we're going to do with um, um, Ryan and Michaela's wedding, we're probably not going to rent a Harley and drive around. So, I don't know. That's still up in the air, but um, convenience-wise and clothes and because it's a wedding, it could be awkward being two people on, on a motorcycle. So, I don't know. We'll see what's going on. But what I want to do is, and we can do, literally you can do that anywhere. Just book a flight somewhere in advance and just go somewhere, spend a couple, three days and ride around on our, even though it's not my road king, that's specifically what I would get if we went somewhere. They're just that universal touring bike. Very nice. It just the whole idea of it's just really nice. How you can quickly release the, the screen and you just drive the bike around a little bit if you want to and it feels you know like kind of a, a naked cruiser kind of a thing very universal I just about take them anywhere pretty cool got love a road king and uh i don't know nothing so far this year no uh trips with the boys or planned. I think everybody's kind of in a 
you know, a waiting pattern of some sort. I don't know. I'm sure probably by next year we'll gather all up and do something. David, who uh, um, had the Suzuki that pretty much has organized the last few trips. He's got himself a new soft tail. He's all happy with that. So I'm sure road trips are are a brewing. It's been, a, you know, last year was so weird. We just never got around to, well, we actually had something planned. And then uh, things were starting to close down where we were going. So the plug got yanked. I think uh, there's already deposited, deposits and stuff made on places to stay. But due to the situation, everything uh, got reverted. That's pretty cool. Oh, Lord, look at the bugs on the spider. So nice out there. It's been dry since we got home. So we're seeing about riding these things, the bugs, this time of year. You want to get out there and ride so bad, and you get out there and it's just bugs, 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 bugs. <laughs> Man, face shield. I got back yesterday, and Kelly comes out with a with a damp cloth and cleaned off the my uh, Highway 21 jacket. It was wiped out. You know, oddly enough, the... 650 don't look like it's bad at all look there's hardly even anything on the on the headlight maybe i wipe that down with that stuff where's the box the other one yeah i still got a, a fresh bottle i've been using putting everything on there i mean it doesn't take much you dampen the deal i don't know if this is a normal deal but it came with two microfibers you dampen your cloth spray the stuff on and apply it you want to do it in a somewhat small area, they say a, a three foot by three foot, because you need to buff it and dry it before it dries on its own. I've seen some <laughs> other people didn't get good results, and I just immediately, I go, mm-hmm, read the instructions, buddy. How's that for a big old microfiber? I don't remember where I got that. I rinsed the, the back of the car off one day, Last week, we got caught in the rain. Oh, it was when we came up um, here in Toledo. It was pouring down rain, and that's just mud city around here. And just that uh, where it swirls at the back of the car. Just sprayed with water, and uh, everything came off. Actually, the back of it kind of needs a spray again. <laughs> you took two chicken to come in? You thinking about it? She hears something flying. There's a bug flying around in one of the lights. <laughs> All right. Sasha, that bumblebee's going to sting you. Now that you heard it. Look at that. Is he, he going to fly away? Don't hurt the bumblebees. Looks like it could rain any minute. It's a, it's only like 7.30 or something out here. It's amazing how dark the clouds can make it look. Well, hello there, YouTube. I heard mess around them dang dogs. Okay, well, it's much. been dry since we got home. It, where was that? About wood. Castle Rock or somewhere in there. I said, boop, it's dried up. I'll take it. I love it when it's nicer at home than it even is at work. It's usually the flip side around. Yeah. Leave here, it's fog and rain. Get there, and it's nice and warm. I'm like, what's the what? deal with that? I'm at work, and it's all nice. Yeah. I could have <coughs> been sick today. Yeah, I know. I had a fever. <laughs> this time of year, that's not possible. No. Even when you're sick, you need to fight it, you know? Yeah. Depending on what you got, you don't want to spread nothing, but getting sick this you know the way the world is that's gonna scares people away yeah but anyway so that was kind of kind of fun day goofing around I was doing some bmw testing and goofed around that spider for a bit i i just gotta uh fill it and burp it in the morning and be done with that and i got a police bike i gotta pull a clutch out of 
check all that stuff out. All that good stuff. I'm sure it's got a smoker in there. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> they're rough on those things, boy. Yeah. That's pretty tough when you burn a clutch out of one of those, but they do some crazy, crazy stuff. I was yeah. talking about that earlier. But anyway, I think on that, before any rain decides to come back, it looks like it actually could sprinkle oh, at know. any time. But we've been lucky so far since we've been home. Yeah. But on that, we're going to bounce out on you. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Tuesday or Wednesday. Heck yeah. Okay, Sasha's done being scared. <laughs> <laughs> We're having fun. All right. All right. See you guys in the morning. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.